Welcome to Lightovation 2018. I'm Samantha Hart, Executive Editor of Lighting Magazine and the Meredith Luxury Home Portfolio. And I'm here today to check out the latest trends in lighting. Right now, I'm heading over to the Kitchler showroom to meet with the man in a bow tie, Jeff Dross. Jeff, it's wonderful to be back here at the Kitchler Lighting Showroom, checking out the latest trends and talking to you, of course. Always nice to have you as well. So one of the biggest trends that I've noticed in the last couple of years is wood. I've seen more wood incorporated in fixtures. What can you tell us about that? Well, you know, it's part of the cyclical nature of trends. Uh, wood was really popular in the 60s and the 70s, not so much in the 90s and the 2000s, and now it's kind of creeping back in. Started probably as a portion of that vintage industrial look, uh, but now it really is, is becoming a very important aspect in, in uh, lighting design and, and residential design in general. Well, what do you think wood brings to a space? Oh, I think it brings a lot of warmth, a lot of color to the room, and, and just a variation in material that I think is really important to design. When I think of wood though, I often feel like it's a natural fit in a more traditional setting or possibly a more vintage, like you mentioned, or farmhouse inspired setting. But is it really more adaptable than that? Oh, absolutely. It can, it can be used almost anywhere. Uh, we have a beautiful collection called Charter. It's part of the Elan uh, Kishler Group. And uh, it's a very stark contemporary piece with a very subtle addition of wood. Now, the wood is different. It has a little bit of a change. The coloration is a little bit simpler. Uh, there's a little bit less grain. It's a smaller piece of wood, but uh, it absolutely makes a, a dynamic addition to a contemporary product. When you're choosing wood, is it important that you match your woods throughout your house? If back in the day, that was very important. Is it still? We spent a lot of time in the 70s trying to match the wood of the fixture to the popular furniture fi uh, finish of the day. Uh, not so much any longer. That, that rule has kind of been broken by the cabinet uh, companies. They developed a, uh, uh, upper cabinets that were different than the lower cabinets and the island was different than the, than the, than the uh, uh, other two. So um, I don't think that, uh, that means anything any longer. And in terms of finishes, I'm seeing a lot of sort of lighter, brighter finishes. Would you say that a natural finish is something that people should be looking for? Um, not necessarily. I, I think a natural finish is, it can be nice, but, uh, but some unusual or, or, or unnatural colors are fine too. Uh, you know, there's a popular green cabinet, but there's no green trees, so. Okay, real versus faux, what do you say? Ah, I think either. Uh, of course, if you're dealing with reclaimed wood, if you're dealing with, uh, with, uh, with that uh, uh, history that reclaimed wood brings to us, it of course has to be natural. Uh, but in that more contemporary piece that we talked about earlier, uh, absolutely doesn't need to be, it can be a faux addition. So whatever works for the product, whatever works for the manufacturing process, I think works best. Well, I can't wait to take another look around the showroom. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely, always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for joining us at Lightovation 2018. To learn more about the latest trends in lighting, pick up a copy of Lighting Magazine on newsstands now or visit us at alalighting.com.